That's dope. You know what? I was going to ask you, man. You did a record, man, because you work with pretty much everybody. It ain't nobody that you haven't worked with. I heard you on a record with Puff. Right. Of all people with all the stuff he going through. To yeah, I had to, man. I had to. Yeah, just no yeah. When you was in that studio, was you in the studio with Puff when y'all did that record? Well, um, I went out there to Miami. Mm -hmm. And uh, at that time, uh, rest in peace, Donnie from 6 -0, he was uh, my manager. So he hooked it up, you know. Diddy had called, uh, I, I kind of, this ain't Diddy, hung up, and then Donnie called me back and said, yeah, it's Diddy. So Diddy has been a, a fan of bars of all the law and cocaine, him and Notorious B.I.G. for many mm -hmm. moons. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, B.I.G. got his style from King T, so they love West Coast. Mm -hmm. Yep, true. Mm -hmm. So when I went out there, it was all cool. It was laid out. And I was like, oh, that's cool. So we went to his little small island, and I ain't seen nothing next to it. Was, it was cool then. That's what like I was going to ask you, man. It wasn't no, it wasn't yeah, no pink. He ready. It yeah, wasn't he, no pink cavy there? Yeah, he no, ready to see it, some shit. Faith Evans was there. She was married to somebody from Compton at that time. The home. Hold boy. on. Faith had a, was married to somebody from Compton? Yeah. Yeah. So he was out there, right? Mm -hmm. And it was cool. So he said, we're going to the studio later that night. So we get to the studio. He's jamming, playing all the new stuff, you know, doing his little dancing and shit. So, so he really be dancing, the animating yeah, and shit, dancing, doing all that but stuff. He was being, he was being. All right, yeah. go on, bust a move, no. nigga. You want to right now? It, Look at it. It, <laughs> it, it, it never <laughs> dawned on shake it, his shoulders. It never dawned on me, you know. He was being cool, like you cool, like oh, you cool. Everybody in there cool. So I do my work, and he's like impressed and shit. You know, I did, sometimes I, I'm lonely. Mm -hmm. And he said, we going to this poppy club tonight. I said, okay. So I hop in the whip with him, nice little car. I, the dude pull out a tray full of ecstasy. It's no bullshit. And it's, you know, everybody knows, so it's a story. So I'm just telling the story. I said, no, nah, I don't want none. So we go to the club and on the first floor, you know, it's cold. Everybody chilling. Second second floor is cold. Everybody chilling. When we get up to the third floor, it's kind of different. It hit different. This dude over there doing something to that dude. This dude over there doing something to that dude. And we are in a round circle with bottles and shit. I didn't get nothing to drink either. I looked at this nigga so cold like this. Hey, Coco, talk, Coco, talk to him. <laughs> like, Look at him. Get, like, get me that shit. I was like, motherfucker, if you don't get me, I had that look. Like, nickel. He seen I went with the program. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he dropped me off immediately, and I didn't see him no more. Next day, I was on the airplane, got my chalupas, and that was that. And I always kept that story to myself. You know what I'm saying? I just start sharing it because, you know, anybody do trafficking or whatever it is, you green, purple, blue, you know, because everybody, everybody say, especially us as people, they say, we well, always want to tear the black man down, the black man down. No. What he did, it ain't cool. You know what I'm saying? But that's his business between him and God. Mm -hmm. But that was my experience, you know, with, with Mr. Diddy. Pinocchio, we gon' tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. Hey. Gangsta chronic, this is not your average show. Like